hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we successfully get our uh, events on this calendar so now the time is to insert new events in the calendar so how we can uh, click on this date and insert uh, them on the calendar right so for now we don't have any uh, functionality to uh, click on this calendar so let's go to the application and implement it so we are returning this uh, booking so here we need to add uh, some properties like to select to uh, able select to uh, able true okay true and uh, then you need to add another select to uh, helper true okay and uh, then you are able to uh, click on this calendar right so now click on this and now it's highlighting right so it means that uh, now we can select the calendar so uh, now the time is to display the model right so when we click on this how we can do this so let's go here and here you need to call an event of select and this is a function and this function is uh, getting the start date so it will automatic automatically get the start date of the calendar when we click on 11 so it will get the 11 and we click on the 12 it will get the 12 in the start date and this will also grab the end dates and so it will return end date plus one day so you select 12 so it will return the start date of 12 and return the 13 date at the end end date in the end date okay and uh, then return this all days so it will return uh, 36 the 365 days right so here you need to perform your application so when we click on this so this event uh, will be executed so let's go here and implement check that is it uh, working so selecting okay so we are selecting so let's go here give it a refresh and open the console when we click on the calendar so it will grab this select event right so give it a refresh and uh, click on the events click and yes it says selecting so i'm clicking again click and it's now twice time right so when i click on this 12 so it's trending right so let me grab this start date here now so give it a refresh and now the time is to grab this start date okay i'm clicking on this so uh, 10 and yes now it's turning this in an object and it's turning 10 right so i click on this 11 so it's turning 11 great so now it's working so now the time is to uh, open a model here when we click on this model so let's go to the bootstrap uh, website okay and uh, get the model from there okay and and and, and get started and here we need to grab the models and, and 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 let me copy some models from there and do where it is okay launch model and yes it's nice so let me copy this uh, model here from there go to our application and add this so uh, i want to add this at the top right so it will display when we click on this calendar so this is the id so example model so in this our case so it's a uh, booking model okay so we can grab this from this booking id so let's go to the select event and here i want to uh, call this right so the id would be this and uh, i want to make this uh, model and uh, you can call this show or toggle event right save this one go here and give it a refresh and uh, let's click on anywhere on the calendar click and it's throwing error model is not defined function so why it's throwing this uh, so let me check that uh, maybe it's uh, e not a but i think it's a so it's uh, a mm, uh, show model from jquery right so you can also search it from like this so stack overflow contains stack overflow and other website contain a lot of uh, answers right so i am not uh, cutting it from the series because you can learn it from how you can uh, search the things right so it's a uh, model is uh, model no not this one it's a uh, model 
toggle maybe i'm doing no it's a uh, toggle so why it's not working as expected so let me replace with this one and in this case our model id is this model okay and oh, let me paste it here save it and give it a refresh mm -hmm. hope it's not going to work okay it's still saying that model is not a function why it's doing so let's uh, go here and copy this event and check that uh, why it's not working so model is not a function maybe it's required min dot uh, bootstrap bundle dot js and something like that so let's go there and check the answer okay if you want to emphasize what member said uh you can use not to include it also if the query is not included twice hmm. so it's so uh, due to this uh, oh we need to add this bootstrap min dot js so i'm saying that you need to add this min dot js so let me grab this uh, go to the get not get it's there so get started and get the cdn bootstrap js cdn bundle dot bootstrap min dot js not bundle dot js so it's uh, this one right copy this go there and uh, paste this cdn maybe uh, i'm not going to paste this at the top because we need to add this in the js give it a refresh and uh, click on this and yes now it's opening the model so it means that it's not working due to this uh, bootstrap js cdn so uh, let's uh, rate this uh, answer because this answer is working right so click on this and yes now go back and now it's opening the model so let's uh, add uh, here a title right so in the model so let me go to the model and here we need to add an input field right so input and this input would be the text and uh, the class would be the farm control this is the bootstrap class okay and assign an id of uh, title so we'll grab this in the future right and then we need to also add a button so here we need to add a button a class uh, an id save btn right so when we can also we are going to save this events right click on this and yes the the title field is there so model title so we can say that booking title and say this booking title and stuff like that okay so this video is uh, going quick longer so let's uh, jump into the next video and uh, i will meet you in the next one bye, -bye.